Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the value at time expression on the rotation property. And this process that I'm gonna show you today will also work the same on the scale and opacity. Position is a little bit different, so I have another tutorial on how to do this on the position property. I will leave a link in the description where you can find that second video. The value at time expression returns the value of any property. So in this case, it's gonna be the rotation property at the exact time that you specify. Logo one starts animating. When the CTI goes past the two second mark, logo two starts. Logo one is gonna stop at the six second mark. Then because there's a two second delay, when logo two reaches the eight second mark, both are gonna stop in the exact same position. So first we'll create the animation. Bring the CTI to the beginning of the timeline, select both layers, tap R for the rotation property, click on the stopwatch. That's gonna add a keyframe for the rotation property on both layers. I'm gonna move the CTI forward in time. I'm gonna to go to the six second mark and I want these to spin a full 360 degrees two times. So I'm just gonna put a two at this first value here, bring the CTI back, tap the spacebar. So now both logos are animating at the exact same time and they're gonna stop when it gets to six seconds. So press option on a Mac, alt on Windows, click on the stopwatch next to the rotation property. And I'm doing this on the logo two layer. So I'm not gonna type anything in. I'm gonna grab the expression pick whip and drag it on to the rotation property of logo one. So I'm gonna go to the end of this expression. I'm gonna tap a period, lowercase v, type in value, capital A, lowercase t, capital T, I-M-E, Time minus two says wait two seconds before you reference the rotation property and end the expression with a semicolon. So now this expression is saying, okay, logo two rotation property. I want you to pull the rotation property value from logo one, but I don't want you to do it until two seconds goes by from when logo one starts animating, okay? So I want a two second delay. I'm gonna click away, no error messages, so that's a good sign. I'll bring the CTI back to the beginning, so I'll tap the spacebar, CTI hits the two second mark, logo two is starting, logo one's gonna stop at six seconds, and then at eight seconds, logo two stops. Perfect. Currently, logo two is referencing the name of this layer. So if we were to ever change the name of the layer or move its position, it's going to break the expression. So instead we're going to use index. So as long as there's a layer above logo two, it doesn't matter what its name is, the expression is going to work. If you look next to layer name, there's a little hashtag. This is the index number column. So the first layer in the layers panel is index one. The next layer, index two, each layer that you add after it, the index number is gonna go up by one. Our expression is on index two, but we want to reference one layer above. So to get from two to one, we need to subtract one. So I'm gonna click inside the parentheses. I'm gonna get rid of the double quotes and the name, and I'm just gonna type out index. We wanna say minus one. So everything is working, but watch what happens if I drag logo one below logo two the expression is broken because index minus one, there's nothing above it. It's below it now. So I could actually change index minus one to index plus one. The expression is fixed. Everything is working. Now watch what happens when I duplicate logo one. Command or control D to duplicate. So I'm just gonna click and move some of these so you can see them. Tap the space bar. These are all animating. When it gets to the two second mark, logo two is going to start. You can follow this exact same steps and use the value at time expression on the scale property or on the opacity property. But if you do this on anchor point or position, you will need to separate the X and Y position. But this is the value at time expression in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers. 